Please practice yoga moves for everybody with care and caution. If you have any doubt if the exercises are suitable for you, please consult your doctor. If you experience pain, discomfort, or dizziness, please do not continue until you have sought medical advice. Yoga Moves for Everybody is in no way intended as a substitute for medical counseling. The creators, producers, and participants of this program disclaim any liability or loss in connection with the exercises and the advice therein. Please do not continue Yoga Moves for Everybody if you are experiencing any of the following health symptoms. Namaste friends, welcome to Yoga Moves for Everybody. My name is Sandra Lee and I'll be guiding you through today's program. We're happy to welcome today Leanne Anaka and Peter Barragon. Leanne and Peter are also yoga teachers, so you're in good hands with us. So let's get started. We're gonna come into Tadasana. In the yoga moves for everybody, Tadasana is held a little more loosely. The knees are bending, the pelvis is engaged, and the tailbone is slightly tucked under. Once we have that foundation, we can think about lengthening the spine. So let's take our arms up and just feel that lovely lengthening and relaxing the shoulder girdle. The back of the neck relaxing, the whole body is in a nice firm foundation and we're gonna start to shake the hands. So giving your hands a beautiful shake, let's take the hands down towards the earth and shaking into your fingers. Feel your little finger, your ring finger, your middle finger, your index and your thumb. Feel the palm, the back of the hand and the wrists as we let go of the wrists and all the day's tensions ah oh, into the elbows and into the shoulders wonderful let it go relax your jaw ah oh, ah oh. excellent okay and now we'll just come into stillness and i want you to feel the difference as you come into stillness ah oh, take a deep breath okay we're going to lengthen again so let's take our hands up to the sky Ah, and exhaling this time, find your balance at the belly. You can even put your hand on the belly if you need, and then we're gonna shake out one leg. Good, excellent, you can let that arm go too. Just find your balance, you're doing great. Okay, place that foot to the floor, ah, feel the difference. Okay, other side, if it helps you to put your hand on your belly, it can, be very helpful for your balance. And we're gonna keep going, shaking out the other side. Good, excellent. Relaxing your hip, your knee, your ankle, even your toes. Okay, let's place the foot to the floor again. Feel the difference. All right, so now we're gonna lengthen the spine again and we're gonna go into an exercise we call dropping the post. It's taken from Qigong. So first thing, is to lengthen the spine. Let's place the hands to face the wall behind you and just very gently tucking your chin. Feel the spine lengthen, the whole back relax. As the hands come down, we're gonna keep the spine nice and tall and we're gonna come up onto the balls of our feet. So first, let's actually warm up the feet just once or twice, just so you can really feel the balls of the feet. That's wonderful. And then when you're ready, let's come up. Use your core strength to come up onto your tippy toes. <laughs> and now we're gonna start to drop the post, just like so. As you drop the post, keep your chin slightly tucked, your jaw relaxing, your arms relaxing. It's a bit like a puppet on the string. Ah, oh, just loosen up. Let tension go from your long limbs. This is a great exercise to release stagnant energy, and we all have stagnant energy. So take a deep breath in and get ready to gently drop the post. Here we go, drop it down. Feel the difference. You might feel coolness or tingling. Let's take the arms in front, breath in, coming up again. Second time, let's go on to the balls of the feet, and we're gonna take the arms down. Second time, dropping the post. This time, really let go. Ah, ah, lifting the sternum. 
<laughs> That's it. Beautiful. And you can just feel all the tension releasing as you strengthen the legs. This is great for your leg channels. Good. Let's drop the post. Let it come down. Ah, lovely. You might like to shake out your legs a little. They do get tired. Dropping the post is wonderful for strengthening the leg channels. Excellent. Nice. Okay. With that nice, long, tall spine, we're going to start our spiral activation. So just a few spirals, keeping your feet flat to the floor, feeling into the movement of the spine. Gentle spiral. Good. Relaxing your shoulders, taking your awareness to your lower back. Knees are bending to protect the lower back. Great. Let's come back to center and begin figures of eight. Figures of eight. There we go. Beautiful. And as we take figures of eight, let your whole body move. We're going to start to walk our feet closer together and take the figures of eight over top our head. Lovely. Let your whole body sway. Beautiful. Feel the undulations of your spine and begin to bring your hands down. Excellent. Little figures of eight all the way down as we take a wider stride, as wide as you're comfortable, letting your feet point out to the sides. And we're just going to take that figure of eight from knee to knee. That's it. And then coming to center. Lovely. Our next move is like a rising wave of energy. We're going to take our arms to the center, breathe in and straighten your legs, lifting the arms and exhale back to center and into the squat, the wide leg squat. Let's do that a few more times. Breath in and exhale. Ah. Breath in. Feel the energy right out to the tips of the fingers and the toes. Okay, this time coming up, we're going to go into a hand mudra. Fingers are together, elbows drop. And we come down into this posture here, which is a little challenging. So just being sure that you are in a comfortable position. So we hold and exercise through the hips. Lovely. Nice deep breath in. Let's drop our hands. Lovely. We're going to straighten the legs. And let's take now the toes together. Heels, toes, heels, toes. Till we're back in Tadasana. Excellent. Okay, we're going to move now into a little bit of side flexion. So feet can be a little wider than the shoulders. We're going to take the arms up again. <laughs> let's drop the right hand. We're going to take the left hand and gently very gently bring it over to the right side. Breathe in, arms to the side, and right hand up, over to the left. Breath in and up, and over to the right. Side flexion is wonderful for your flexibility. This is a movement that we don't do in our day-to-day -day life. So make sure that you try to do it every once in a while. Every day would be great. One more to each side. Lovely. Excellent. Okay, and we'll come back to center. We're going to take our hands to the floor now. As we breathe in, imagine you're taking soft energy from the earth to your heart. Exhale, bend your knees as if you're sitting in a chair. Hands come forward, fingertips touch. And we describe a beautiful round globe around the body. Let's do that two more times. Breath in. Exhale, ah. hands forward and relax to the sides. Let your shoulders relax, your jaw, the back of your neck. Last time, exhale and breathing in. Lovely. Ah, and just feeling the difference for a moment that a little breath work can make. Ah, breath to movement is a very effective way for stress reduction. So the next time you feel a little tense, try that last breath movement. You can do it anywhere, really. So when we return, we're going to be in a cross-legged position. So if you'd like to get down to the floor, we'll be right back. Thank you.
Location for Yoga Moves for Everybody provided by Coal Harbor Community Center. Hair and makeup for Yoga Moves for Everybody provided by Victoria Duro. We're back and we're coming into Dandasana. So the legs come out long. Peter's gonna keep his knees slightly bent for, to protect the lower back. So we're gonna begin Dandasana in a very gentle forward bend. Just like you're describing a little ball above your knees. Often people think of this posture here, the forward bend as being time to touch the toes. And we just want you to instead feel the lower back, getting a little gentle massage. And then when you're ready, just letting your hands naturally come down to maybe the knee. Maybe you can go a little bit towards the calf and shin. What I don't want you to do is overstretch. Again, Peter's got his knees bent for tight hamstrings. Good, we'll take a slow deep breath. It might be nice for you to just tuck your chin. Some people can go a little deeper, but as soon as you feel the lower back starting to speak to you, that's when you stop and take a breath. Okay, we'll release that. Let's take another ball. This time the hands go in front. We take the hands back and up to the sky, all the way up. Lovely and relaxing. Good, forward bends are wonderful for stress reduction. They're said to be the anxiety releasing posture. Okay, we're gonna get you to now bend your knees. We're gonna take our feet a little wider than our body. We're gonna have some fun here with what we call the Marilyn Monroe sequence. So the first thing we're gonna do is find the hip mobility. We'll just let the knees go a few times side to side and just feel that lovely mobility through your hips. And when you're ready, let's drop the hips to the right. The knees go to the right, the hips relax, and there we are, our Marilyn Monroe posture. <laughs> okay, so now we're gonna take the outside hand, bring it up to the sky. Leanne's gonna stop there. If you wanna take a twist, we're gonna place the hand now next to the hand on the floor. You're gonna feel this as a mid-back twist, so go gently. Remember, if it's too much for you, just keep your hand up. Good, we're gonna come back now, so bring the hand up to the sky, breath in, and placing it down to the starting point. Let's bring the knees up. Good, and now we're going to drop to the left. Knees to the left. Let's bring the hand up. Again, Leanne's gonna take a little break there. And Peter and I will place our hands to the floor. Again, you can feel that as quite a dynamic twist for the mid-back. Okay, let's breathe in, come up. And place the hand to the floor, the knees come up. Let's go back to Dandasan for a moment. Good, and just sitting tall. Our next move is going to be coming down to the floor. So you're gonna be sure to have either a carpet or a nice sticky mat. I'm going to the side. Okay, we've got two variations here for rolling down to the floor. I'm gonna do the C curl. Leanne's gonna put her elbows to the floor and Peter's gonna hold underneath his legs. Here we go, curling down nice and slowly. I'm gonna put a little block under my head so that the chin is slightly tucked and the back of the knee ne neck is long. Excellent, so let's take our knees one at a time in towards the chest. So one knee comes in, the other knee comes in, and we just very gently rock the knees in towards the shoulders and away, relaxing the lower back. Excellent. Let's let the sole of the right foot come to the floor and interlace the fingers behind the left thigh, sending the left foot up to the sky if you want to make this posture more dynamic, you push through the heel, curling the toes towards the kneecap. And then when you're ready, that's it. Leanne has already straightened out the long leg. So there we go, that becomes more dynamic. So know where your limit is. That's lovely. And relax. Take a deep breath. 
Wonderful. We're going to bring the knee now in towards the chest. You can hold it longer if you like, or come into what I call the gardener's posture. The knee comes in, the toes are gently pointed. Let's do a hip opener. The left hand rests on the left kneecap. Meanwhile, we'll just hold the right hip down, drawing the knee to the side. Maybe you look to the opposite. This will help you with your balance. Coming back to center, and here comes the lower back release. We're going to switch hands, so we're crossing over, and we're going to draw the knee across the center axis of the body, and again, you can look slightly to the opposite side for balance. Good, and not going too far, but allowing yourself to pause, take a breath, and come back to center. Excellent. Let's take the sole of the foot to the floor and then stretch it out. I'm going to ask you to take your hands over top your head now and have a whole body stretch. Stretch your fingers, your toes wiggling, and relax the hands back down, bending one knee and then the other knee. And this time, we're taking the right knee into the chest. So here we go, other side, interlacing your fingers underneath the thigh, sending that foot up to the sky and just holding there for a moment. Excellent. Nice deep breath. And as you're ready, if you'd like to go to the next level, we just lengthen out the leg. This is such a lovely way to stretch through the lower back, relaxing through the hips. Again, if you need to have your knee bent a little, that's going to protect your lower back, especially for the guys. Guys tend to have really tight hamstrings, so it's very good for the men. Excellent. Okay, this posture is known as the big toe hold. Okay, many of us can't make it to the big toe, so interlacing the hands behind the thigh is a really wonderful way to get into the posture. Let's bend the knee, come into the gardener's pose. Let's take the right hand to the right kneecap. Left hand rests on the hip. We've got a hip opener. Back to center, breath in, and here comes the little lower back release. You're just rolling over. Excellent, and taking some nice breath to the lower back. Wonderful, let's come back to center. And again, just taking the sole of the foot to the floor, we're gonna straighten out the legs. And one more time, I'm gonna ask you to take an energizing stretch. Stretch your body. Excellent. Peter and Leanne are going to bring their hands down to the sides of the body, and they're going to prepare now for relaxation. Relaxation is the most important of all the yoga postures. It's the one where we are asked to do nothing, just breathe. This can be very tricky for some folks. So as you relax, just soften your body, let all the tension just fall into the earth. Take a deep breath, release your jaw, soften your eyes, relax your forehead. That's lovely. Just let your breath do the work for you as you unclench through the shoulders, relaxing your arms, your hands, your fingers, your thumbs. Take another deep breath, feel the belly rise and fall and unclench now through the buttocks, the hips. Relax your knees. Relax your feet, even your toes. For a moment, feeling the clothing that's resting on your skin. The air breathing in through the nose, down the throat, and relax. You can stay there and continue to relax for a little longer. This is such a beneficial posture for stress reduction. Or you can wiggle your toes, bring your knees one at a time into your chest, roll to your side, and make the transition into your day. Thank you so much for joining us today on Yoga Moves for Everybody. We hope you've had as much fun as we have bringing you the show. So we'll see you next time, and until we do, namaste.